So I will be talking about this uh, Cocker Langan approach. Video will show you tomorrow. The main indication for Cocker Langan approach, which was uh, described by Cocker in 1874 and uh, some modification was done by Langan back in 1904. The main indications are any fracture which involves the posterior wall or column, transverse juxta or infratectal fractures, or any combined fracture type where posterior column or wall is involved or some T type fractures you can see. Uh, this is the area you can see blue color area you can assess directly and red area you can have a visual effect. So mostly it is done in lateral position because we are used to for arthroplasty is lateral positions but you can do in the prone position with legs freely mobile. Most of the buttock area has to be uncovered and during surgery knee must be kept in flexion and hip in extension so that you don't stretch the sciatic nerve. Skin incision for few centimeters the posterior spine, leg spine go distal to the anteriorly over the GT, curve distally towards the lateral aspect of the femoral shaft to end the incision just distal to the insertion of gluteus maximus muscle tendon and then do the sharp incision of the subcutaneous tissue along the gluteus maximus muscle and iliotibial tract using a scalpel. Split gluteus maximus muscle proximally up to crossing the first neurovascular bundle which is the superior gluteal artery, posterior muscle belly which is supplied by inferior gluteal artery and interior belly which is supplied by superior gluteal artery that includes the one third of the gluteus maximus and tensor facial art muscles has to be separated. You have to take care of these vessels because your, these vessels are very important otherwise there will be wasting of the gluteal muscle and patient will have lurch after the surgery. The superior and inferior gluteal vascular bundles supply the gluteus medius, minimus and maximus respectively. To avoid the stretch over the gluteus maximus, you should cut, this is the area, you can cut approximately 1 centimeter from the insertion of the gluteus maximus from the trochanter so that there is a relaxation and you can see the external rotators. This quadratus femoris and obturator externus you have to see because the vessels which flies to the femoral head passes through that, you, have, you are not supposed to injure these quadratus femoris. You have to identify the piriformis muscle, obturator internus and both the superior and inferior gemelli. You should remember that blood supply to the weight bearing portion of the femoral is by the femoral circumferential artery. Its deep branches give 2 to 4 retinal superior retinal branches and few inferior retinal vessels and these blood supply is very important. If you cut this supply, there will be chances that head will go into avascular necrosis. Deep branches of medial femoral circumferentia are injured when you detach the quadratus or reflecting the obturator internus, internus, piriformis close to the trochanter because this vessel goes just below the trochanter. Then you have to see, identify the sciatic nerve which is protected by the rotators. There should be no pressure or stretching on the nerve. You, that is why you have to keep the hip in extension and knee always in flexion. One should remember that sciatic nerve anatomy 84% passes anterior to piriformis but the anomalies are there 12% peroneal division through the piriformis or 3% cases there is a division of the peroneal division posterior to piriformis and tibial division anterior to piriformis or entire like this there is a division this piriformis muscle is there and this is the peroneal division, this is the tibial division, you have to see. like in this case, you can see there is a clear cut division of the sciatic nerve. So you have to protect this and you should identify the piriformis and other external rotators, go uh, proximal near about 1.5 centimeters away from the trochanter and apply the stay suture before division of this. Otherwise you will not be able to re-suture these piriformis and you will damage the vessels. Then try to release these muscles retract it and put a retractor in the lesser sciatic notch. You should not put the retractor in the greater sciatic notch. Exposure the posterior joint capsule is there. Don't cut this capsule because the mostly posterior wall fragments are attached with the capsule. You should try to go through the fracture side to see the joint. Try to debride this joint, see all the fragments, see for the marginal impaction, damage to cartilage of the femoral and head and try to repair that. Localize, remove or clean, reinsert any free intraarticular fracture fragments is there. You have to see that and you can fix it. Fracture reduction either with the KY or spikes or reduction clamps you can use. Temporary fix with the KYs and you can put a plate over these procedure wall fracture. Must remember that you have to debride all the necrotic tissues otherwise chances of hypertrophic associations are maximum if you leave this debris inside.
and then you have to reinsert all the tendons this is where you have to reinsert all the tendons sorry i can't show you and wound is closed the moment but in few cases where you want to see the femoral head or there is a supraestral fracture you have to go for gans osteotomy that is called trochantric osteotomy you have to clear the trochantric region try to anastomose most of the vessels of the trochantric anastomosis osteotomy should start from the greater trochanter to the base of the vestis tubercle a portion of the medius tendon should be left temporarily attached to the intact femur until the trochanter can be mobilized vessel lateralis fascia in size of the vestis tubercle distally 5 to 8 cm to allow extra peristaltic mobilization like in this case you can see this try to mobilize it and you can see on hemi serpential view of the acetabulum rim you can see the anterior capsule you have to dissect the gluteus minimus and the vestis uh, muscle and do the short me jet shape is short me this is very important when you are cutting this capsule so you have to preserve it's you have to be 1.5 cm later to the edge otherwise you will damage the labrum of the cap hip joint and the moment you put it back you can fix it with two screws it is very easy to uh, close this clip is short me thank you